Hello friends, welcome to tutorials point. In this video, we will start with DB2 introduction. So this is the agenda. First, we will discuss about DB2 architecture. Then we will see what is Poofy and then we will do a hands on. So there are five major components of a DB2. So first is system services component. It handles DB2 startup and shutdown. Also it manages connections with other systems. Then next is database service component. It handles execution of SQL statements. Then the third is locking services component that is known as IRLM. It handles the concurrency issues and the deadlocks. Then fourth is distributed data facility component that is DDF. It is used to connect to remote databases server. Then the last one is stored procedure component. It's an optional component and it handles execution of stored procedures. Spoofy is a component of DB2i. DB2i is DB2 interactive which is a menu driven application tool and is used to create database objects. Used to develop and run any SQL definition and data manipulation. Spoofy is used to create any tables, table spaces, storage group or you can query like any update query or any select query. Now let's see all these functions practically. We will start with DB2 architecture. DB2 is having five major components and each component runs in a separate address space and is made up of numerous subcomponents. So the first one is system services component. It handles DB2 startup and shutdown. I go to M here more and here 15th is our DB2 options. So all the system startup and shutdown is handled by a system service component. It controls and coordinate connections to other MVS systems such as CICS, IMS or TSO. Also it manages the system log. So we'll see where all these components are present. Here if you go to administration you can see some of the major components of DB2 architecture just like threads and all these things. So system service component is also responsible for establishing and maintaining all the threads for DB2. Here you can see the related display thread display manage traces and stop DB2. So threads are memory structures that are used by DB2 to communicate with an application program. Also it serves as a link between DB2 and application programs. All the application programs send all the requests to DB2 through threads. DB2 communicates the status of each SQL statement to the application using threads through SQL CA. SQL CA we'll see when we'll start coding in COBOL program. Then the next is database service component. So this is responsible for execution of SQL statements and management of buffer pools. Here you can see buffer pool functions. It is the key component of DB2 and it comprises of three major subsystems. One is RDS that is relation data system. Another one is data manager and the third one is buffer manager. RDS manages stage two predicates and it converts input SQL statement to application plan after binding. So we'll see what are the SQL plans. Here you can see bind, rebind, free plans. So we'll discuss this in detail when we'll cover the flow like how we run a COBOL DB2 program and what are the various steps to run them. As of now we are just covering the theoretical part and to make you understand the architecture of DB2. After RDS we have DM, data manager. Data manager executes the application plan generated by RDS. It manages stage one predicates and it does row level processing. Also it invokes IRLM for locking the modified data. The third one is buffer manager. Manages all the buffer pools required by DB2 for database operations. It keeps the frequently used pages in buffer. It is responsible for instructing the vSAM media manager to read data from the underlying vSAM files.
so i will just tell you the flow how what is the flow of sql execution first of all the sql statement is read then rds performs the binding rds is the part of database service component and it is relation data system so rds performs the binding here you can see bind then the third is dm dm is data manager it analyzes the request interfaces with bm irlm and log manager then it applies the stage one predicates it goes to desd and it fetches the requested data from buffer pool and reads the underlying vsim clusters then comes again the rds it applies the stage two predicates handle the sort processing and finally we get our sql result so this is in the background what is happening this is a theoretical part so in the background you should be aware like what are the various steps which are which are done when we execute an sql query then the third component is locking service component this is irlm the locking service components are provided by a component called inter resource lock manager that is irlm it manages all the concurrency control issues and detects deadlock then we have distributed data facility component it provides distributed data facility functionality and it is used to connect to a remote database server this one is an optional component then the last one is stored procedure component it provides support for execution of stored procedures also this one is an optional component now we'll see what is spoofy and what are the various options so before going to spoofy what we'll see what are the basic db2 defaults so here you can see this option d db2i defaults type d enter here you can see all the information related to db2 the name of db2 is db9g then we have db2 how many retry, uh, retries it want i have given the zero then the application language you need to select from asmc cpp IB, ibm cob fortran so here we are using cobol so i have given ibm cobol then lines or page of listing that is 60 then we have message level that is i information warning error or severe you can mention any of them then sql string delimiter that is default and then we give a decimal point will be giving point or you can use comma as well then stop if return code that is 8 lowest terminating return code so if it is more than 8 it will uh, stop the processing then we have number of rows for ispf tables like how many rows should be fetched so that is 20 now we'll see what exactly is poofy so let me open the program here one first is poofy process sql statements so spoofy is an acronym for sql processor using file input this is our input file you can mention sequential as well as partitioned member pds db2 interactive db2i in the last page we have seen db2i primary option so db2i means db2 interactive it is db2 uh, db2 interactive facility which runs under tso or ispf it is a facility for executing sql statements interactively and input to spoof is going through a member of pds or it can be sequential you can see refer to this and the outputs of the queries are stored in sequential file only here you need to mention the sequential file you cannot give pds name now press enter ignore this error here you can see sql terminator this is sql terminator semicolon press enter so what i'm doing is we have a table called student we'll be fetching records from this so just for uh, ignore all other lines present in this database we'll be covering in next videos so to execute this query you need to type semicolon any number of semicolons more than one and then you need to press f3 here you can see uh, the result of select star from student here it is giving student id and then the student name so these are the records which are present here 
So here you can see number of rows displayed is 6 and then statement execution was successful but SQL code is 100. So this SQL code came after 6th row. Once it fetched all the records, after that no records were present. So then that's the reason it is showing uh, SQL code as 100. 100 is for no rows found. Because it has already displayed all the 6 rows present in the student table. Now press F3. Now we'll go to this input member and this output member. So just go to 3.4 option. Here you can see this is output. You can open this in view mode. All the results are saved in this file. It keeps on overwriting. Suppose if I execute another query, again it will be overwritten. Here our first query was select star and these were comments line. That's the reason they were not executed. 2 dash means it's a comment line. This one is output. Now we'll see the input. I've given this PDS as an input one. Ignore about this output. This is not required because output cannot be a PDS. It should be a sequential member. We'll open this. Here you can see this is our PDS member which was executed in Spoofy. We have given the same whatever you write here it will be executed once you go to spoofy and execute this one it will be executed so this is all about spoofy in the next video we'll see how to create tables databases in spoofy